What is up, Watchers? Magnus here, and today we're finally back with the greatest estate developer. It's been quite a while, it's been quite a while, and I've been missing it, so yeah. Subscribe if you haven't already, like the video, so we hit the bell algorithm, most importantly, notifications. Put all notifications on, so you know when I'm streaming. Join the Discord in the description down below. In case you don't get notifications on YouTube, you'll get them on Discord. Second channel, Twitch is also in the description. Right, what is up, Tony? GG, Stanley, Cloud Rider. Let's break it. Go, Stop Trooper. <laughs> You're hell on time. <laughs> What's up, everyone? We'll be leaving in one week. The waterworks in Lacona will be finished around then. In order to minimize expenses, he wants only about 10 men to accompany us. Hmm. I understand if that's what Lloyd wants, then that's what Lloyd's gonna get. <laughs> but why? You're not gonna question it, sir? I stopped questioning my son a long time ago. <laughs> Please worry not. I will monitor Master Lloyd closely. When a knight from Moose Count Lacona came to blackmail me into giving him half of the reclaimed marriage wetlands, in the past I would have been terrified and simply handed it over. But after watching Lloyd and the people's efforts, I found some courage of my own. I've always been an indecisive and incompetent lord. No, you haven't. Hey. I know what you think it too. <laughs> That's not true, my lord. You've always been well. <clears throat> Fighting for the people? Yeah, it's the kindness and warmest first. <laughs> that that's what you're gonna say to him right now? Sub young one, sub Nitesh. Like the fun thing here is that like he says that he's uh, well weak. I, he comes back with you're you're warm and kind <laughs> more so than anyone else. Yeah, that, that doesn't help when you're like the lord and gotta. Help the people. I appreciate your, wor your words, but they are merely words. But I can't say I'm a good lord just because of that. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's not enough to just be nice. To be a good lord, you need to control your territory. You need to protect your territory from threats. A leader should have firm principles and be willing to take action. Yes, which you haven't. Like Lloyd right now. Huh. <laughs> That man's only principle is money. <laughs> the only thing he cares about is money. Sir, stop stop giving him. <laughs> but I shouldn't say that. Yeah, I, sh I shouldn't say it. The only thing he cares about is money. Is it really so bad to pursue money? Well, I'm not so sure anymore. Of course it's not bad. It's just it's just gold. <clears throat> Javier, your mission is, to, is no longer to monitor Lloyd. What? It is to help Lloyd. It is to serve Lloyd. From now on, I'm asking you to protect Lloyd, the heir of this land. Huh? As you wish, my lord. As you wish, Lloyd Frontera. As mir has miraculously managed to revive my lord's fortunes. But I could never end up liking him. Javier, what do you want to do when you grow up? If it's something I can help with, then I'll do anything that I can. <laughs> Lloyd is just like, get out of here, you orphan! Huh? Hey. Oh, is he gonna say, I want to be friends with Lloyd? I want to become a knight and protect my lord. Okay, that, that's not what he's. <laughs> Bullshit. Sup, Arjani? Sup, Prince Aquino? Hmm. Well, thank you very much. I will need the help. You managed to survive that harsh winter all alone. So I'm sure you'll become the world's strongest knight. And then the Baron gave me a wooden sword that he had carved out himself. Damn, that's cool. And that wooden sword was. <laughs> As if an orphan son of a bitch like you can become a knight. <laughs> I freaking knew it. He was gonna call him an orphan. He, li he likes going on. You can keep dreaming and try again in your next life, loser. Oh! Oh! Yeah. Kinda hard to become friends after that, huh? He just. You broke the gift you got from your master. I will never forget. Could never end up liking him. Welcome, my dear customer. Welcome. What do you want? Put rub. Back rub. <laughs> Thank you for seeking out the Frontera Lullaby Services once again. You can't live without me anymore, can you? My dear sir, you become addicted. If you don't do what I say, I could suspend my services. You say the same thing every time. Let us just begin. 
The complication routing method compresses the grounding fat ground ground grounding fat by press injecting inflow. What? He's just like, what what you talking about, bro? <laughs> I'm sure I should hate him. Calculations, calculations, sine, cosine, <laughs> ramble, ramble. <laughs> Words ramble, ramble. <laughs> Words. <laughs> it's boring him to sleep. Symptomatic. But he's changed. It's not the same person anymore. Hey, kind of a different person, you know? Completely. <laughs> like he's become a completely different person. Yeah, yeah he has. <laughs> Red Sun. There we go. Nice. Have a nice sleep. I hate myself for thinking he's a decent person. Hmm. Hard to not think he's a decent person after all he's done now, though. I get to think. He's done a lot of good for the country. An assassin. Hey. Lloyd Frontera. It's all your fault. Die. Whoa! <laughs> oh yeah, I'm God. Oh, is it that already? Like, or is it taking it, taking it out? Ah, uh, yeah. No, he already cut it. Huh? Oh, ow! What the hell is the metal sword in my bed? Get out of here! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pretty funny if Lord just woke up from it and like, oh, and it's acid. You got this, right? I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> Go back to sleep. <laughs> huh? Oh, it seems like you have it, this under control. I'm gonna go back to sleep now. <laughs> Come on, that was like the greatest opportunity. What's always the most important thing? Work! Safety first! Oh. Master Lloyd, we handed the man over to the Viscount, to the Viscount Lacona. Oh, good work. He targeted you because the Viscount has been paying in a lot, lot for the waters. He probably fired him first, you know. Not my problem, though. I would have done the same. He gets paid a lot, but all he does is get beaten up by the brat next door. So he came for me to get revenge. That's how these small-minded people think. Does that mean you were expecting this? Of course. Not exactly, but I thought something like this could happen. Wait a minute. Is that why you've been helping with sleeping? No. Kinda, maybe. Then it was complacent of you to not take any precautions. I did take precautions. He thinks about everything in advance. I thought he always plans for every, every eventuality. How do you not see what he did? He knew you would save him. That's why he has you. Huh? What do you mean? I did plan for it. I'm like, huh? What are you talking about right now? I've got you beside me. So what other precautions do I need to take? Yeah. Oh my god. Damn it. I hate you. It's thanks to you that I can move around freely. You're so capable. I trust you. I trust you. Think about it. Do you think it's possible for a five-year-old boy who lost his village in a monster attack to survive the winter without any help? But you made it possible. And he's standing here as a knight. Is there anything more dependable than that? What? Why are you looking at me like that? I'm just stating facts. This is awkward. Why don't you say something? I'm having regrets about being so cringe. Uh, bleh. Is, is that a word? Bleh. 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 I hate myself for thinking that. Huh, nice. That's a very Javier-like reaction. <laughs> He's a decent man. Javier Asrahan is finally get, letting go of his long-term resentment. Increase approval rating, plus 15. Your approval rating, plus 6. <laughs> you know he's doing this just for the points, right? You're amazing, Javier. Come on, give me more points. Give me them points. You earn 320 RP for improving your relationship in, in a major way. Current RP, 1,675. We'll have finished building the waterworks by tomorrow. And let's go to Cremo. To earn big bucks. Da, da, da. 
Hmm. What a beautiful scenery. <laughs> Why isn't Lloyd in the carriage? <laughs> Why is he sleeping? <laughs> hey there. I ow. You hit me just now, didn't you? No, sir. I just moved. Are you sure? Felt like it. Did Did you see me do it? You didn't, did ya? Uh, I guess. I bet you were thinking, call himself noble. He can't even ride a horse, and now he's snoozing. How annoying! And hit me. Incredible. Seems you can read minds now. <laughs> so you admit that you hit me? Of course not. I wouldn't dream of it. Okay, fine. You're so petty. Stop. Everyone, stop. Duh. I'm walking. Teach me how to ride a horse. I refuse. I'm a knight, not a horse riding instructor. <laughs> what Javier really means, I admire your attitude to strive <laughs> to learn what you don't know. Teach me already. That's an order. What Lloyd really means, I'm going to work hard. Working hard is easy for me. <laughs> so petty. I know. I'll do my best. What was that? What did you just say? Thank you. Oh, yeah. Yes, finally more estate developed. Oh, yes. Father. You're so kind. Your heart and soul are like that of an angel. Stop it! Ah, stop. You're so noisy. Go away. You nonsense translator. <laughs> What's wrong? All of a sudden, have you lost your mind? What's wrong all of a sudden? Have you lost? Huh? Rumors travel faster than words. Rumors of you building the first waterworks on this continent is spreading fast. Your reputation as an engineer has increased. Your name will go down in construction history of this kingdom and this continent. Bonus RB, plus 600. Damn. Whoa, checkpoint! This means I can win even bigger construction projects from now. I can win. I can win? You mean build? Can win even bigger. Reputation means money, and money means a sweet retirement. <laughs> it is kind of like Kale. Money means retirement early. Early retirement. I like this album. Yeah. Retirement. A golden future awaits. You are you're you are ang you are a angry one. You you are angry one. You're angry one. You are angry one minute. Oh oh you are ang oh. You are angry one minute and laughing the next. Have you lost your mind? He really has lost his mind. <laughs> Those damn messages. Get them away from me. The journey to Cremo was definitely not a short one. Yeah, hey, let's go. As we approach winter, drew near. Drew near. Winter drew near. So we didn't reach Cremo until midwinter. Winter is coming. Thank you for coming such a long way. I'm the lord of this place, Count Cremo. We humbly greet you, Count Cremo. I'm from the Frontera family. <laughs> You're completely different from what I imagined. I heard a rumor that you are a talented builder. So I imagine someone with a rough countenance. countenance. But to see that you are of such a noble appearance. You seem like the noblest of all nobles. I'd believe you if you said you were royalty. Oh my god. Bro, I'm, I'm, I'm here though. That's my knight. That's how it. Do you by any chance of a woman you're engaged to? Excuse me, Count? If not, then consider my daughter. Count. <coughs> how insolent. How dare you, a mere servant, interrupt a conversation between nobles? Okay, I'm about to slap this dude. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> servant. <laughs> Servant's face. Ah. Steward menu. <laughs> it looks like I've caused a great offense. <laughs> I'm sorry, I truly am. Please don't be offended. How am I not, how am I supposed to not be offended? And you have it, you shut your trap. No, nah, it's fine. It's okay. It is my face that is at fault. If I could, I would beat you right up. It's partly your fault too. If you're born with a servant's face, please just stop, you jerks. How is that a servant's face? It doesn't look like it's a servant's face. <laughs> Lord of Cremo, the city of commerce, Count Cremo. He is also quite an important figure in the Night of Blood and Irony. 
in it. Javier becomes a wanted criminal after beheading the moneylenders. Shiloh, a meatloaf. Meatloaf. He goes into hiding and is eventually arrested by the Count in Crema. But the Count can see Javier's character and integrity from just a few words with him. And ends up providing a lot of support to him in many ways. I wanted to buy your jewels too. Take her to the statue that we are going to put up in the sea. You're going to put a statue in the sea. Our trade in Cremo is declining. A few years ago, I don't think a statue in the sea will help that much, but okay. A, a, a Giga Titan. A Giga Titan. Giga Titan. Giga Titan. Giga Titan? Started to appear just, at the co just off the coast from our port. Is that a lobster? We never suffered any direct damages. But it's mere existence as a source of fear. Or is it cancer? Hmm. I do recall reading something like this. They had no way of attacking it in the water. So they even... So you... So... The even navy couldn't do it. So the navy couldn't even do anything. Okay. W what is this sentence? So the even navy couldn't do it. Bro, you, you, they just mixed up words. So the navy... Just, just take away the even. So the navy couldn't do anything. Cremon continued to decline, and the Count faced a crisis. I thought Javier would do something to help. But after a whole load of bait, it just ended. But after a whole load of bollocks. <laughs> and once again, Javier raised his sword bravely and firmly. The end. <laughs> White. I'd like to express my sincere gratitude to all my readers who love the Night of the Blood iron thus far. I will continue to work. Wait a minute. Is that like the last thing you read? They didn't even make it clear whether there will be a season 2. Oh, shit. So that's how the book ended that you read. When I first came here, I thought I knew everything about this place from the book. I guess even the parts that weren't fully fleshed out are still playing out. I've done a lot of research to drive that bastard out. In doing so, I discovered something important. What? Mermaids. The strongest warriors who rule over the sea. Yeah, it doesn't look like a normal lobster. Mermaids, huh? Mermaids are the objects of fear for the Gigatitan. So I was thinking, the Gigatitan is terrified of anything that even resembles mermaids. So you're gonna make a huge statue of a mermaid to scare it off? I don't think that's gonna work. So I wanted to build a statue of a mermaid in the sea. Okay. Why does that look like a man with breasts? But I've given up now. Excuse me? If we raise the seabed to build a statue, then the depth will not be enough for the boats. Oh, put your mind at ease. I don't have, any, have a use for it anymore. But I made a promise, so I'll buy the jewels. No, I can't let you do that. Please do not just take a loss. Oh, so you're not going to sell me the treasure? I will, for high price too, if possible. And I will also build your statue for you. <laughs> Without disturbing the water level in the sea channels, of course. Friction pile and box kaisons. Yeah. If I combine the two, it's more than possible. Woo! It's deep though, right? Damn. Water to let the sea, but it's pretty flat, thick, sedimentary. Layers, it's the right amount of soft. So, Vector, the MC in this model is absolute. It's an absolute chat. <laughs> yeah. It's the bedrock. Deeper down. Well, it doesn't matter. Bedrock, relatively hard layer of rock under the surface of the seafloor. Yeah. <gasps> My face. It's cold. Is it cold? What? What is it? Why do you look so happy? Oh, I'm sorry. The first time that watching someone suffer has made me so happy. Uh, what were you having? You take the measurements. Why do I... Is the contract okay? Don't change the subject. I think this every time, but I really can't imagine it. To build up the ground vertically, up from the seabed. Unless you're going to use magic. I'm not going to use magic. Magic? Huh? You could call it that. <laughs> the magic of semi question is, how do I create cement in this world? It's Roman-style cement. I should definitely be able to do it. Clay. 
Please don't watch your... Please, please don't watch your step and fall. Your banter is reaching a sword master's level. Are you a banter master? <laughs> Are you Master Lloyd from Terra? I have something I want to give you. Uh, they're, they're gonna give it to uh, Javier again. <gasps> Me? No. <laughs> Who's that? It's not for you, Lloyd. It is definitely not for you. It is for Javier. <laughs> she thinks my name is Christine I am Count Cremo's daughter <gasps> I saw you walking through the mansion courtyard yesterday M Master Lloyd <laughs> please accept this <laughs> he's gonna try and grab it it's not for you <laughs> yeah it's for <laughs> it's for god that probably it <laughs> look at him <laughs> it's like, what? well I was sort of expecting this but uh, it's fine. That's how it is, I guess. <laughs> you just took it. <laughs> You're not gonna read it? Nah. Out in the sea. <laughs> oh my god, he accepted it. Yes, yes. <laughs> Lloyd is about to murder him. <laughs> Let us proceed. Hold it right there, you asshole. Are you gonna read it? It really annoys me. When you act like nothing just happened. What are you talking about? You took the lo love letter and put it away like it was nothing, sir. And what's wrong with that? What? Yes. What? Oh. Have you never received a love letter before? <laughs> ah! Ah! Uh. <laughs> I don't really know what to say. Take strength, my lord. <laughs> One day shall be your day. I very sincerely wishes you the best. <laughs> that just makes it worse. I'm a jealous. Not even a little bit. I'm a jealous. I'm a jealous. Because I'm going to be rich. Because I'm going to make so much money. Hey, Lloyd. What? <laughs> oh, what's up with your face? Oh, pl please forgive me, Count. I was focused on my work. <laughs> you gave me a shock. You had the eyes of a killer. <laughs> I was able to gather most of the materials you asked for without much difficulty. But it's not easy to get the volcanic ash. Oh, that's one of the key ingredients for Roman cement. Uh, the advantages of the Roman cement are obvious. Their structures are still standing 2,000 years later. But then again, I don't need it to stand for 2,000 years, do I? <laughs> it's durability was so ahead of its time. It's not impossible. But we would have to go to Volcano. The fest would take half a year. Even I don't think I can wait that long. Don't worry, I'm sure I can find another way. Mm. Time for plan B. I'll give up on Roman cement to make Portland cement. Portland cement gave rise to our modern cement. I know roughly how to make it, but not the details. If you haven't, if you haven't got the brains, then you got to use brawn. I'll keep experimenting with all the different combinations. I do like how he doesn't have all the answers as well, and, ha and he has to experiment to get it right. Okay, that's not good enough. Sample 120. Sample 129! Damn. Failed. Uh, I think I almost got it. Just need to get the mixing ratio right. No, it might be. To, it might be to do with the. It might have to do with the drying process. It might have something to do with the drying process. I'll add on four more combinations for now. If I apply 12 ratios here, that's 48. Then I'm sure one will succeed. Hey, pets. Padung, padung. Hmm? Padung, padung. Wait, I'm busy. Go on, walk, go on and walk without me. Go walk yourself. Come on, padung, bang. Can't, I can't. I'm too busy. <laughs> ah, damn it! I told you I'm busy. <gasps> oh, I know it's adorable. Hmm. Wait. Oh, you remember your dog. And you want to treat these pets better than that. Is that what you're gonna say? Yeah, it's always more sad when animals die. He was the last member of my family. I'm sorry. I should have brushed your fur one more time. I should have played with you more. 
Hey. Let's go. You are so much more important than my research. I'm such an awful person. Everything has been going so well. It's so only been our ordering here on like your machines. Come on, can we like get a dragon or like a wolf or a fox next time you're, you're getting something? I'm the biggest moron in the, wor moron in the world. I would have had so many regrets. Thank you. This is all thanks to you. <laughs> Fantastical creatures are acknowledging your sincere feeling. They consider you part of their family. Relationship level with the fantastical creatures. Master-servant relationship. Huh. Relationship level with the fa fantastical creatures. A member of the gang. A new upgrade for the fantastical creatures. You can add new skills for your fantastical creatures. Required RP 500. Huh. This is an ex unexpected bonus. Costs a lot to add it to all of them though. Badoom! Come on! Bang! Hmm. You won't bang... You want Bungle to receive the new skills? Bang! Boo! Ha! Ah. Okay, okay, if that's what you want. Mind what the skill is, I'm sure I can find a use for it. Fantastical creature upgrade activated. Please choose one of the creatures. And besides what they want anyway. Bungle. Is it gonna change? Bungle has successfully leveled up. Upgrade level, level plus one. Let's reward Bungle has received new skills. Chomping Dirt, level 3. Accelerated Dirt Digestion, level 3. Steel Dung Launcher, level 3. Volcanic Blast, level oh, Volcanic Blast. <gasps> volcanic. Whoa, yeah, Volcanic. Now isn't that convenient? That's awesome. That's exactly what I needed. Almost too convenient, don't you think? <laughs> Primo, city of commerce. Volcano! <gasps> They're gonna panic. What? Volcano. That's pretty bad. <laughs> I find it funny that he probably didn't tell them about this beforehand. <laughs> wow. It's ash. That's real volcanic ash right there. Did you see that over there? It's an absolute gift. No. A gift. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Have you gone deaf? Wait. I'm sorry. I forgot to tell you to cover your ears. What? <laughs> what? What? Are you, are you saying so? Are you joking with me? Oh, hey. <laughs> are you telling? <laughs> would be pretty funny if he just, like, didn't make a sound when he said it. I can't hear you. What is going on? You're ugly! Not as ugly as you. <laughs> you can't hear me, can't you? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Thanks to Bungle, we quickly solved our cement problem. The key to construction is speed. Let's begin. First stage. Get all of him. Build and install a giant diaper to filter the volcanic gas. There are five layers of, of mesh at the end of the diaper to catch the ash. Are you telling me that it's gonna poop? <laughs> it's gonna blow. Why are you doing it in the city? Then we act as Bungle's volcanic blast. Is it? I, I feel like it would be safer to do this, like, not in the city. Not in the town. One more time, it's gonna blow. I can see it's not your ordinary engineer. I never heard of these techniques on summoning creatures to this project. I'll keep a close eye on him. I'll give a detailed report to His Majesty the King. If the rooms are true, then it's a ways to just keep him in the backwoods. Once the ingredients for cement have been gathered, it's time for stage two. Make a kaizon to pour the cement into. Place it in the sea. 
Then I'll use Hamong's one shot to remove all, of all the water from the Kai Zone. Stage three. Ah! Cover the bottom of the Kai Zone with friction posts. When will we receive the next post? Wait a moment, they're working hard to, hard to deliver them. What's that look for? Oh, I was just thinking about how compliant you've been. You didn't even say your usual, I'm a knight. Or should I do this? <laughs> you want me to say it? Eh, kind of miss it. I'm a knight, what should I hammer? Huh. You are the knight that escorts me. All right, if you don't hammer the pose then, then I won't earn any money. Then we can't clear our depths. If I faint from the stress, then the Baron will be sad. If I end up bedridden, then the Baroness might also fall ill. Please, Mr. Knight, please protect my family. You'll help us, right? Javier, you're our only hope. Ah! When I finish my regular coaching sessions with Javier, <laughs> I'll use Bungle Steel dung launcher to build a steel frame. Finally, we'll pour in the long awaited cement. Dismantle the Kaizon once the cement is hardened. And the artificial sea platform will be complete. Oh, there we go. Happy. The platform is 50 centimeters higher than the water level at high tide. If you put a mermaid statue there, it will look like it's floating. Hmm, well. To be honest, I can't believe it. Can that foundation really withstand the weight of the statue? If you do succeed, then I'll make sure he won't be disappointed with the construction piece. Boom. Okay, so he's not gonna build the mermaid. I, f I feel like he should have built the mermaid statue as well, because that does not really... Uh, yeah, it does not look good. Oh, this is so uncomfortable. Oh, I hate wearing stuff like this. I had to put up with these clothes. They're awful! Lava. I'm gonna level up the Murm chapter next video. Which date? I don't, I don't have a date for it. And I just basically did it, so it is a little while at least until we do it again. You act as if you're wearing them for the first time. I remember you wearing them at events from time to time. Oh, well, it's been a while. Damn, it's sharp. Attention everyone, please look over here. This is the young man who made this statue a reality. Oh, so he is. He's done a great job. They're, they're, they're still gonna think it's Javier. He's so full of poise. Your face is perfect and so are your talents. Um, I could, I could, could I shake your hand? It is me! <laughs> I'm smarter than most. I knew they would all flock over there. I'm definitely not jealous. I prefer Fast money transfers to compliments. Yes. True. But that look annoys the hell out of me. Why don't you care? Get lost. Don't look at me. Stop pitying me. <clears throat> it's all because your face. There's nothing wrong with my face. I don't get what you mean. Like there's there's absolutely nothing wrong with my face. Why does this guy always follow up with a two hit combo? Everyone. This is the man who made the sea platform. What? I thought he was a servant. Can you stop calling me goddamn servant? I will slap you. I will challenge you to the wolf. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna care. <sighs> it's gonna attack it. <clears throat> I think they were wrong. He's not scared of mermaids. He just he just hates mermaids. A mermaid. Our natural enemy. <laughs> he, they're just asking for him to attack it. Lloyd is just thinking that, wait a minute. I don't think that Miles was supposed to be scared of him. There's only one. <laughs> There's only one. I'm going to kill it. So we needed to make them all around. <laughs> okay. I don't want to be blamed for this because this is not my fault. I just made the platform. It was your damn brilliant idea. Uh, to do all this. Don't blame me. Hmm. Sea monster is coming. Oh yes. 
The sea monster is on the way. Hmm? You can see it. No, oh, is it in, in the moon? What are you doing? You look like a stat. <laughs> you look like a statue or something. Oh, don't mean. I don't mean you look as good as a Greek statue or anything like that. Hey, are you ignoring me? Are you ignoring? I think something is coming this way. You think or you know? Like what? I know exactly, but it is extraordinarily swift. How big is it? Can you tell that? It's about twice the size of this ship, perhaps. Slightly bigger than Hamang at its biggest. Holy crap. Excuse me, Count. Oh, Lloyd, are you enjoying the party? It seems that Giga Gigatitan is approaching. We must let the passengers know and evacuate ev everyone. Sir Genuan. Yes, my lord. Do you detect anything strange far out in the sea? I do not, my lord. Hmm. Sir, Genuan here has pretty much reached Swordmaster status. His senses are extremely sharp, you can trust him. Well, our Javier is even sharper, and he's the main character. How do I persuade him? Don't worry yourself, in the last few years, the Giga Titan has never come this close. There's no reason why it would suddenly attack. I think there may be a reason now. Hmm. I don't know why they're saying this, these things, but my senses are telling me. Raise the anchors. Get the boats away from the statue. Hurry. Get moving, hurry. This is taking too long. Oh yeah, take care of the anchor. Damn. Podong, we need you. Podong, I choose you. Use eat. Night. That's not what I meant. Rip down the statue. Get the statue away from there. Monoblast. If you just move the statue, everything would be nice, you know, because he's going after the statue. Oh shit. It's sped up. Spread out. Scatter yourselves. <laughs> Damn. This kind of looks like a Digimon of some kind. It reminds me of Digimon. I don't I don't remember which one, but it does remind me of Digimon. Damn Lord is flying. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> is he flying? That fire? Ugh. Wow. He really sent that mermaid flying. <sighs> Help me, Ellen. Where is Ellen? I don't know. Jeez, we can't save all these people. Gotta get on land. Come on. Come on. One shot. <laughs> Wait, is he gonna drink the ocean? Drink the ocean, come on. Drink him up. Are they gonna drown him inside him? <laughs> Among, let them out. Hello? Oh shit, they're all drowned. They all drowned. Of course they drowned! <laughs> I filled myself up with water. It's up there. Master Lloyd, the Giga Titan is moving towards the city. You must stop. Lloyd, what are you doing? The money. Where are you going? The Giga Titan is, is on the way. I'm going for the jewels. That's why we have to run this way, you fool. <laughs> you want to fight that monster? Have you lost all your bananas? <laughs> I mean, Lloyd is all for self-interest here. <laughs> why would he sacrifice himself for a random city that he is supposed to just get paid to help or build something for? I completely get Lloyd. What does he... Also, how easy would it be for him to defeat that thing? Also, can it even go out of the water? Hurry, man! The sea is dangerously cold. Get the people out of the water as soon as you can. 
Save me. Here, grab onto this. Watch out! It's like a dragon. It's like a Yu-Gi-Oh dragon. Why are you just standing there? Come on already! Hang in there. Over there. There are more people over there. Are you ignoring all these people who are in danger? We came here to make money! We didn't come here to fight some sea monster and keep the peace! This city has an army and artillery. It's got it all. They'll be just fine on their own. I, it's not wrong, you know. Lord Frontera. In moments of crisis, you showed great ingenuity. Yes. I saw resolve to not give up. You didn't turn your back on those who were struggling. Yeah, but those... Yeah, but that was his own people. The people he care about. This is just some random business, I think. <laughs> but... We are busy with our own stuff. Why do we have to protect someone else's city? Running away is the rational thing to do. In the end, I see that this is who you truly are. Javier's approval rating of you has decreased by 5 points. Your approval rating, plus 1. Your relationship with an important character has worsened. But re rest assured, you won't lose RP for this. I could never do that. Hey, stop trying to be righteous all the time. If you go back there, you'll die. Is he gonna fly, bro? You're gonna fly in the water. Mana blasts. Okay. Stop... Stop, stop breathing, okay? Stop stop looking badass. I'm pretty good. Stop, Panaccia. Yee. Let's just surf. Cannon's ready. Fire. You know, he's gonna have to go back because, because like, Javier is too important to the story. <laughs> ah, didn't even flinch. Whoa, is that cannons? Gonna shoot something out of from there? What the hell is that? Is that acid? No. Air? Water? Air cannon. Hydro pump. Oh. It's not done yet. The mermaid must die. The mermaid is dead already. It lost its head. Ah! Also, it was never alive in the first place. He's gonna get saved by Javier. Oh, yeah. Damn it. Oh yeah, you stupid idiot. My mana blast slice bounced off. Of course it bounced off. This is way more powerful than you. It's a goddamn Digimon. Would you save them? I, I would be more in the beginning like, I, I, wh why should he sacrifice himself for some random people he was doing business with? No, I would, I would escape. <laughs> I would be, I would be Lloyd. I, I would have a tactical retreat. But hey, when Javier goes back, you have to go after him though, which is annoying. Also, you would have to think, the thing that Lloyd needs to think about is what he will get if he saves them. But I guess he doesn't really believe he can take down the monster. He does have the, the pets, though. That could probably do something to help him out here. Maybe use the magma blaster. <laughs> How many are you gonna read? Eh, I'm probably gonna try and catch up, but we'll see. I can't dodge this. Duh. <sighs> you are stupid. You know that, Javier? Also, how the hell is... Oh, wait. Is Kale going to use one of his pets to just get there fast? Feels like that's how he's going to do it. Because there's no way he's going to paddle there. <laughs> come on! Come, I'm coming after you, Javier. I'll be there in like two hours. <laughs> come on. You can't be that fast. <laughs> Let's go. I'm almost there, Javier. You just need to like hold out for like an hour. <laughs> yes, I tied him up. This is enough. I know I will never beat this kind of monster, and I may even die here, but I refuse to die before the people are safe. Wait, like, you, you know what pisses me off with Javier, because he, he is too righteous. You need to think about your own people, the ones you're supposed to be protecting, like your city, your town, your lord. Come on, it's just a waste. <laughs> oh my god, he is still doing it. <laughs> I thought he was going to get it. Come on, 
Come on, this is getting this is taking way too long. <laughs> it's not like I'm some overpowered character or something. Oh, all right, he's still escaping. Even if I have RP, it's all construction related. There's nothing I can do. What could I do even if I went back there? I'm human too, you know? Breaks my heart when the city gets destroyed and people get hurt. <laughs> but so what? It's not like there's anything I can do. Also, your pets can do something else. The city gets destroyed and people get hurt. I can build it up again. Make money. <laughs> okay. uh. He's like, damn it. <laughs> Stop conscience. Stupid conscience. I hate morals. If I run away like this, the city will be destroyed, and if I leave it to be destroyed... Then what? Ah! I said back, Bongo! Bongo! The construction fee payments will be divided. <laughs> <laughs> of course, that's what it is. He can't pay me! <laughs> if they're dead, they can't pay me! Come on, we need to save them so they can pay. Volcanic Blast! You're dead meat, you damn oversized lobster. I got you. <laughs> I'm still an animal after all. So it's weak spot must be its eyes. It is still I'm still it is still an animal. <laughs> yeah, the eyes are too powerful. Alright. Hammer. Hammer. on. Hammer! <sighs> Sonic! He's roll. Boom! How dare you mess with my cash flow. <laughs> How are they supposed to pay if you destroy the city? Stupid piece of Stupid lobster. Now it's my chance. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Hasn't worked before. Not gonna work now. Ah, bounced up. Impossible. I can't get through here either. Ah. Can't find anywhere to attack it properly. I thought I could win at first, but now I don't see a way, see a way yet. Why do I feel so calm? Yes, it's because Master Lawyer came back. Him coming back means that there is a way to beat it. <laughs> <laughs> means that it I, I get what he's saying because like if Lloyd came back, it means he knows how to beat it. <laughs> because Lloyd would never <laughs> join a, a losing fight, losing battle two and a half minutes earlier. Yeah. Fly. Fly, hamster, fly. Hold on, don't one get us too close. Take us around it so it can't detect us. Hold on. Weak spot. I need to find its weak spot. Ah. How is Monoblast is having absolutely no effect? How is it so strong? What is what is it made of? Oh my god. We could use this afterwards, right? Wait. What is it made of? Inside. That's it. I wonder if it's possible. Sorry, wait. Can you just put a bomb in its mouth or something? Like throw it in there? What is it made of? Nice, even living things are made out of something after all. They can be surveyed. <laughs> it's a mixture of dentin and cheating. It's a whopping one meter thick molecular, molecular level. It's a triple layer honeycomb structure. That is then tightly woven together. That's really state of the art armor. So cringe. I'm just here to say hi. I'm already at the latest chapter. It's funny. The MC is a horrible person. It's too bad I can't see your reaction to this. I'm happy because of the basketball game. No sequel. Do you know the time cringe? Lloyd, you have to help to get payment. <laughs> Need that payment. Ah. Kind of, of done all that work for nothing. What is that? The energy of the shock from Javier's attack migrates a single spot. Hmm. That's it, the energy collects in its hollow horn and is then released. First thing we need to do is cut off that horn. Simulation mode. That spot where there's a water sack with hydraulic claw. 
we struck that area in this direction with a monoblast. We can destroy that thing. That's a lot. What do we do? Boom. You have lost all control of yourself. Horn. It's horn, you stupid. Cut the horn. I was trying to be cool. Cut up so it's horn, man. Oh. Have you lost your marbles? What are you doing? Horn. Horn. Even if I cut off its horn, it won't be fatal. But if you say so, he says so. Master Led would never say anything he couldn't stand behind. <laughs> okay. Even though the horn is hollow, it won't be easy to cut. Mono circles aren't all about hitting it hard. And what should I do? Do it fast, even if it's weaker. Lightning quick. That is easier said and done. I mean, it cut a little bit. And done. <sighs> ah. It's working. High frequency mono chainsaw. <laughs> chainsaw. Oh, blow. Maybe I can see you later. If you're still streaming. About two hours. Ah, I mean, I doubt, maybe, who knows. It was just a theory. Well, I doubt it. But I knew how the air could pull it off. Da. Da. Hold on. Don't let him. There we go. Nice blood. Ah. Chainsaw man, go. There we go. And now you're going to take Monoblast into the horn. I feel like the obvious thing to do would be to attack in its mouth. Throw bombs in there. Throw bombs into the mouth. I mean, get the arrow right between where its middle legs meet. From its tail toward its head at an angle. If you get in a monoblast from that direction. Our construction repayments won't be delayed. <laughs> the motivation he needs. Just the motivation he needs. Huh? What? what? Oh. <sighs> oh, this lamb. I bet. I bet. I didn't think about that. Shit, he could just lie down. I <laughs> bet. Oh no, I killed my servant. No, not the main character. I wasn't done using him yet. I'm gonna die. And so are you. Wait, is it, did, he, did he go inside the lobster? No. <laughs> nice save, put on. Nice one, put on. Put on, put on. Forgive me, Master Pudung. I do not understand what you're saying. Perhaps you were scolding me for my reckless behavior. Probably. Oh my god. I will try to stay alive until I have defeated it. I will trust Master Lloyd's plans. You know Lloyd is about to run away if he doesn't. <laughs> After successfully surveying it, I came up with Plan D. It's been hard to implement since the Gigatitan is a lot faster than expected. But we need to push through plan D until the end. It's the only way to beat that thing once and for all. We're going with plan A plus D. What? what? Hey, Padang! Padang! Take me to that place I mentioned earlier. <laughs> oh, yeah. That thing sees you as his biggest threat right now. Lower it along the east coast and into the woods. Yes, sir. I bought them enough time. They should be finished by now. I'm counting on your count. 50 minutes earlier. Can't believe it. How could something like this happen? Forgive me, my lord. If only I had detected it sooner. No, it's not your fault. I was too complacent. It was my fault for believing I could drive out the beasts with a statue. 
No, the statue will indeed drive it away. Lloyd. Oh, they're gonna take the statue and run <laughs> and escape with it. Come on, follow, follow the statue. Lloyd, you are safe. That monster has gone ashore to finish off that statue. There's no doubt. So we're going to take advantage of its obsession with it. Javier and I will buy you some time. Meanwhile, I need you to get the statue away. Uh, I am at my limit. I can't do anymore. <laughs> my mission right now is to lure it away for this city. No, for the people. <laughs> Shit. Should have jogged more. Let's give it up, everyone. For the one, the only, bronze statue! Huh? <laughs> what is that? You stinking lobster! What? Did the head just fall off? I brought you your real enemy. <laughs> okay, I'm liking that reaction. They did a great job putting this thing back together. From the book, I, I knew I could trust the cow to do this. Javier! I'll make an opening for you to attack. Next time, please explain the whole plan to me. Yeah, there better not be an X time. <laughs> ah, mommy! Oh, don't miss. Monoblast. Finish it. There we go. Is that enough? Is that enough? Did you at least injure it a bit? No, that's yeah, that's a nice hit. I cracked only a small hole in this outer shell. Yeah, but that's enough. That's just attack there. I used my mono blast too many times. No, that's an excuse. I am too weak. I'm not strong enough to protect the people. You did it, Javier! Huh? Leave the rest to me. To me. <laughs> he wanted the glory himself. <laughs> I'm joking. Lloyd couldn't care less about glory. He just wants money. <laughs> pay me. Pay me what I'm owed. Better pay. Or else we gotta have a problem. Put everything I had. I'm losing consciousness. Yet I feel like I can rest easy. Leave it to me. Because Master Lloyd said it so confidently. Boom. Rest easy, Javier. I'll protect this city, no matter what. It's what I shouted to him as I was dashing towards the beast. But I was thinking, I will get my money! <laughs> but to be honest, I don't think it's possible. Maybe I can lure this thing really far away and leave it there. There's no guarantee that the beast won't come back. The waters of Cremo has already got Titan's habitat, after all. That thing is pretty smart too. My Gober Sir can take revenge for us summoning the Merman statue. Wait, before that, my Podong. He's already at his limit. I can't ask him to do anymore. Podong, now! Duh. Damn. So he sent you over to him. What can I. What can I definitely pull off right now? I can throw the spade right in. Into that hole. What is it? What is it that I can do? You can throw that shovel. Throw the shovel! Earlier, when I had decided to save the city and ensure a swift return on my investment, I had a couple of plans that involved me in attacking it. Monoblast. I have to perform a monoblast as well. Yeah. But to use a monoblast attack, I need a triple heart circle. And right now, I can only have a double heart circle. Hey, message alert. Skill window. Astrahan core technique. I need to buy. Huh. Let's level up to the triple heart circle. Double heart circle level 4. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. 190. That's a lot. Whatever. Let's just see what happens. 220. Does it increase by 30 each time? Uh, double heart. <laughs> oh, shit. That's so steep. Who cares? What I have to lose anyway? Come on. Come on. Bye, 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 bye. 
Oh, it's around core technique. Double heart circle level 10. Level up 370. RP needed 370. Current RP 311. Oh no! Damn it. I need something. Um, 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 Javier, I love you. <laughs> Come on, give me points. What? Javier is creeped out. You've lost RP. What? <laughs> no! <laughs> Nothing I can do now. I need to stay out of this battle. It was my rational decision at the time. <laughs> but I'm here. Yo! Now just stab it. Try and climb inside it first, though, because if you stab it, it's gonna move. Try and just climb up and just keep stabbing. So, what am I doing here? Dangling from this thing. Should I summon some mana and just jab it? No. Nope. So, there's even a little nick. I can dig my way into it and. Your approval rating by Javier increased by plus four. Your approval rating plus five. Oh, it's enough RP, right? Come on, not enough RP. Osiron core technique, double heart, circle level 10, 370, current RP, 391, yeah, I can do it, triple heart circle, Osiron core technique, level up, triple heart circle, Osiron core technique, triple heart circle, level 1, now let's freaking go, mon amplified, 500%, you're dead man, one circle to protect the heart, well, two other two heart circles, <laughs> Boom. What the hell? Did someone throw something at you? Huh? Did I get hit by something? Oh shit. That's not good. I need to get in one good shot. One circle to protect. What's going on? The other circles. What was I doing again? The circles. The heart circles. What's going on? <laughs> They are colliding. Ah, where are you going? Is it going downwards? Bro, where are you going? <laughs> Triple core monoblast. I mean, that's fine and all. Okay, now he's flying up towards it again. Okay. <laughs> I was like, are you going away from it? No. Ah, finish. I. What's up, crow? Finishing move. Spear of Annihilation. Shovel of Annihilation. Shovel of Destruction. Whoa. 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 That's a nice kill. Let me guess. Lo lo no, not Lloyd. I mean, Javier is going to get all the credits again. Oh my god, I can't believe you did all that. Who, who did the last blow, huh? <laughs> me. Now pay me. <laughs> You owe me. Okay. I, okay, fine. Don't pay me. But I will have this corpse. I will use all of its body parts for different stuff. Like, that can be a good sword, shield, you know. All of it's above. Padong. Among. Wagoo, wagoo. Huh? Padong. Huh? Duh. Master. Padong. Master Padong. <laughs> master Habang. You're all safe and sound. What do you call the master? He really did it. He, he did what he said he would do. But how did he do it? Ba -dong, ba -dong. What is it, Master? What is it, Master Padong? Do you mean for me to follow you? Obviously. Ba -dong. Uh. Lloyd. Lloyd. <laughs> My lord. Master Lloyd. Maybe you should have escaped with him, huh? Is, is he screwing with him? I <laughs> got you. <laughs> nah, he's unconscious. His heart has stopped. Has it stopped? Has stopped. Well, damn. I mean, obviously it's not dead. It's his series. <laughs> and that's where Lloyd's story ends. And Javier becomes the main character again. <laughs> Could you imagine how many bad would be pissed? <laughs> the entire story would change. What happened to all engineering? daughter was like nah too much work <laughs> getting all the engineering details in here we gotta go for straight up fantasy again Ugh. a messenger pigeon and count crema i wonder what time to go ah! <clears throat> lloyd 
Lloyd told him so many times to get himself into dangerous situations. My dearest Baron Frontera. Your eldest son, Lloyd Frontera, has admirably completed all the construction work that we need in Grima. Argos. Argos, I am coming with you. How could you depart so suddenly without any preparations? Arbea. Sir Byer. It will be a long journey, even without any breaks. I shall go with Sir Byron alone. What are you talking about? Have, have you forgot? I ride much better than you. <laughs> However, immediately afterwards, Cremo faced a grave peril. During which Lloyd from Terra and his guard, Sir Javier Astrahan, saved many lives through their acts of sacrifice and valor. Then Master Lloyd proceeded to fall into a bizarre unconscious state. Lloyd, he used to be such a despicable boy. Lloyd, and now he's the most diligent and trustworthy son. I'm sending this correspondence as I feel it was my duty to inform you of the situation at once. I'm looking forward to meeting the parents of such a great young man soon. My son. My son. I've come seeking my lord's permission. Fear not, my lord. It can be done. I'd like to express my gratitude to you, my lord, for your wise judgment. My lord. Are you really my son? Yeah, <laughs> he's just like, are you really my son? You haven't called me dad, like what? Not father. And it's just lord. Monster. Oh damn. I like the art though. That's sick. Demon wolf. Red. Whoa! Okay, that looks awesome. That looks freaking awesome. Since we have chosen the shortcut, we must face this head on. I will buy us some time. Please go around him and head toward Cremo. Sir Barney must run as well. The beast is faster than our horses. The moment we turn around, he will have us by our throats. I will defeat it. Hurry! I will defeat Entang. Forgive us, Sir Byron. We shall see each other again in Cremo. Hope so. <laughs> ah! Oh shit. Sir? Oh, he's gone. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh. Now stab it. Come on, there we go. Yeah. Get him, Byron. Is he deep enough, though? Doesn't look to be that deep. Oh, he came back. Good on you, Lloyd's dad. <sighs> he would definitely be gone for it weren't for them. <laughs> nice hit. <laughs> Can you stand up? I'm ashamed. I am your guard, yet you are also one of my subjects. I have a duty to protect my subjects. Arcos. Arcos. Arbe, are you hurt? Oh shit. Oh crap. We're dead. Uh. I will fight. The bitter end. Damn, look at his shoulder. It just looks bad. This looks really bad. It looks like Cerberus. Oops, oops. Lots and lots of Cerberus. Um, now who's gonna save them? That's a good question. Is Lloyd coming? No, I mean, uh, Javier. What are you doing there, Javier? Nice kill. I guess these wolves are no match for you, huh? <laughs> Makes you understand how strong he is. I came to scorch you, just in case. I pray you are not injured. <laughs> Bam. I knew already that Tavia's swordsmanship and mana abilities are far beyond my own, but they were not at this level prior to his, to his leaving for Karimo. 
How could Javier have improved this much? To be continued. Robert, is Lloyd, is our Lloyd okay? I don't know. Can't tell if he's alive or not. Lloyd, no. If, if you leave us now, our estate, my newly found home, our estate. Eh, it will be all your fault, you know that, right, Javier? He's a pulse, but his heart had definitely stopped. He's faint, but he's breathing. How can this be? What's this? A triple heart circle. They're all spinning around at an unbelievable speed. Can't judge the condition of his heart. Can't see because of the magnetic field. The strong minor rotations are keeping him alive in the place of his heart. A triple core monoblast. I understand how the Gigatitan came to be that way. Mr. Lloyd, you are truly. What? Remarkable. <laughs> Amazing. A hero among heroes. So, so greedy. <laughs> the young master is at the Count's Manor. The doctor is sending to him, but his condition has not improved. A terrible. I think it was just you and Lloyd fighting against the monster. No, I was merely. The sword that Master Lloyd was wielding. It was Master Lloyd's strength that vanquished the monster. Lloyd did. Our, our son Lloyd has that sort of power. Are you are you all off to the Count's manor too? Of course, I can't do much, but this is the least we can do for him. Lloyd from Terra, if not for him, I would have frozen to death by now. Even as he was rushing towards the Gigatitan, I don't know how many people he saved. Said I was doomed to die, buried beneath all that rubble. Lloyd's just like, another one who can pay me in the future. <laughs> I had given up awaiting death. Bungle, eat up that debris, make sure not to hurt anyone. Bungle, eat it. The embers must have spread from fireplaces because of the statue fragments. Left alone, this whole area would have been engulfed in flames. You saw it too, right? The giant hippo hippopotamus that appeared during construction. It spewed out water and extinguished the fire. Oh, I saw it as well. That's the summon called forth by the man named Lloyd. Right now, in this city, who knows how many people owe him their lives. <sighs> Damn, yo. All of them just standing outside. It's, it's like the Pope is sick. Please. My daddy's, my wife's, my mother's, everyone's savior. Please wake up. Please open your eyes. Have all of you lost your senses? If only that man had not made a platform for that statue. None of this would have happened. Ultimately, it's all his fault. What? The town imposter appears. He gets upset and left that out. Yeah, because he wasn't just paid to make it. The public's agitated. <laughs> yeah, he's swiftly surprised. <laughs> Your courage and sacrifice have, de have deeply moved the people of Krima. You will receive an enormous reward for this achievement. Click here for more details. How the hell am I going to click anything? Ah, uh, what the? Ah, uh, damn it! Could you imagine if I was still in the coma? I couldn't see it. How am I supposed to click anything when I'm in a coma? Damn it, click here and you'll be resurrected. Don't click anything, it will move. Damn it. I see it though. Oh, my head. Oh, I remember using the triple core monoblast like a fool. Am I alive right now? Probably. If you were dead, you wouldn't be able to even have a dream. Oh yeah. This is either hell or my life. But how shouldn't my... But how? Shouldn't my heart have exploded? To find out soon enough. Isn't there something much more important to check on right now? Oh, that's right. Wait, did he think he was gonna die from that? What the hell did he do it? He did he do it? Shit. Oh, okay. 
Just matter wanted to see. What the hell happened? When did they say they would pay us for the construction? I need money. <laughs> when am I getting paid? <laughs> Seems you're in good health, my lord. <laughs> Lloyd. Lloyd. Huh. Lloyd. Ah! Oh, you're killing me. Damn it. Lloyd, you're okay, you scoundrel. Thank goodness, Lloyd. You have an idea how worried we were. Are you really our Lloyd? That unsettling question isn't what's important. <laughs> I'm just thankful that he's alive. <laughs> Are you really our Lloyd? Nope. Not even close. Royal Capital Magent. And he writes, Gigatitan has been completely destroyed. That concludes Count Cremo's letter. Huh? How intriguing to learn that such a man exists in my kingdom. Send a messenger to the Frontera Barony and bring both this both this man and his guard back here. As you wish, your majesty. Let us see if the contents of this letter are indeed true. I will meet this man and judge for myself. Wait. Didn't you say king? That's not a king. That's not a king. High Royal Highness, the Empress Alicia Termina Magentano. Okay, Empress, that is fine, but like, that's not a king. <laughs> She not even trying. <laughs> the stars of your great courage, wisdom, and self-sacrifice are spreading all over the land. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about that. Where's my money? <laughs> Where's my money at? You receive bonus RP for your elevated social status. Yeah, that, that I care about though. Giving them points. Sure. Assessing skill information. Skill, mana heart. You can store high concentration of mana in your heart. So that's why I have so much energy despite being in a coma for a month. Hmm. I've become the owner of a mana heart. Which means shoveling will be a lot easier. <laughs> that's what he's thinking about. Yeah, shoveling will be now be a lot easier. Come on, just just use a sword, bro. Become a great knight. Nah. Too much work. Is that the only thing you can think of to use it up? Uh huh. Are you belittling all the construction workers of this land? Forgive me, my lord. Of course not, my lord. Your mana heart was born not as a result of regular training, but from the impact of the mana blast. As such, your mana heart has been given unique capabilities. What? Skill option: shock neutralizer. Impact from mana blasts can be neutralized without additional protection. What's this? Does this mean I can use the triple core blast as much as I want? That means. The work in the quarry can be done faster. Oh, come on. Think of something more impressive. Yeah, come on. Think of <laughs> think of something you can kill, like a monster. Come on. Use it. Is there anything more noble and impressive than manual labor? Are you belittling quarry work? Forgive me, my lord. Of course not, my lord. <laughs> the mono heart needs to be protected from the impact of the mono blast because it acts like an ammunition dump. Using the mono, bl mono blast is like setting off an explosion next to one of those powder kegs. Damn. Not smart. Yeah. It is literally a death trap if you don't protect it. Whoa. In that moment. I didn't have a mana heart. That's why I didn't die. The shock from the blast filled my heart. And as it was working to keep me alive, it condensed and turned into mana heart. I neglected my, ma my mana heart training. Thinking it was a better use of my time to do more manual labor. I guess it pays to be lazy sometimes. <laughs> Forgive me for keeping you waiting. Let us depart right away. Oh, yes, my lord. Hmm. <laughs> He's just like, I can get paid by royalty now. Those buildings and streets. No, oh, that's what you think about the money I will make for this. I wonder how much would it cost to repair them. <laughs> Hard to tell, but I imagine it's well over a month's worth of the city's budget. If the Gigatitan hadn't been knocked down, I bet it would have been another half a year's worth. <laughs> it's just like, what? What are you trying to tell me? What are you trying to tell me? Oh, nothing. Compared to half a year's budget, what I'm getting for this construction project. Must be like small change, that's all. <laughs> My goodness, who would have known? 
I think that this tragedy was the result of some statue made to drive the Giga Titan away. Regardless, whose plan it was, you can't say it was anyone's fault, really. It was Mother Nature. Either way, few people did have to risk their lives, but everything worked out very well in the end. <laughs> oh, you know, I did happen to hear something from your attendants. I heard, I heard your lordship offers financial compensation to anyone who works for the public interest of the city, regardless of who they are without fail. I was rather curious. I wonder how much of a benefit to public interest would lead to. 1.5 times. Will that do? Ah, I do apologize. It seems I caused a misunderstanding. I wasn't asking for more money. But anyway, I finally get it. To you, my lord. Your citizens' lives are worth 1.5 times my construction fees. I am twofold. Threefold. Quadrifold. He's like, huh? <laughs> I'm in awe of your bold generosity. I will consider this a special compensation. I put it to good use on myself. <laughs> Yes, of course. This is strange. Sorry, it's strange. I most definitely been extorted by him. Yet, I don't hate him. Hmm. Why? Why don't I hate him? Hey, that's the Count's carriage. It is Lloyd. Master Lloyd has arrived. The hero. Three cheers for Master Lloyd. Hip, hip, hooray. Huh. That's just nobody in Korea. This is so much pressure. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. <laughs> We've set up the podium for you with a magic crystal ball with amplification powers. People are all clamoring to hear what you have to say. About what? Oh, of course. It is all of you who prevail over this tragedy. That are the real heroes. That sort of speech will do, right? <laughs> it's not like I'm making money off this. Who cares? Lloyd, 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 Lloyd. Uninterested. <laughs> Whatever. Give me points or I'm out of here. Lloyd, Lloyd, Lloyd. Lloyd. I wonder how many people this is. Damn. If I could make money uh, from every person here. Citizens of Cremo, have you ever heard of Ondol Floor? <laughs> Freaking love him. Bro. He's gonna try it. Oh, yo. Huh. I see you haven't. Well. I'm here to tell you about it. <laughs> you all, you old sir, with your stiff joints in the freezing winter cold. You, madame, who worries incessantly about your child catching a cold. How much time have you wasted wrestling with your silly fireplace? One hour, two hours. If you've lived 50 years, that would be 15 years wasted in front of a fire. If you think that is too much time, then remember on the whole floor. <laughs> you will improve your life. This. No. No. By this much. Bro. <laughs> He's a natural salesman. For more information, please visit the Baron's Manor located in the Frontera Barony. <laughs> that is all. <laughs> now, I know why I don't hate him. He is meticulous in seeking every penny of profit. He is persistent but reasonable. And he gets done what he needs to get done. Far from hating him, I want this man by my side. A man of his caliber. He's stuck in some far flung village that is a loss to this kingdom. Loss. Huge loss. Money. Give me money. <laughs> my soon to be golden goose. The Frontera Estate. And its most senior knights are by our honesty, integrity, sincerity. He's a good guy. But his skills as a knight are only average. No, I'd actually say he's slightly below than average. I thought it was a pity. That is until. And so all the plans are in place for the migration. 
The lists of names and details on land allocations are in the papers over here. Okay, so he's better at this than he is at being a knight. Regarding the farm owners, complaints over the labor shortage to follow. I've decided to send in the orcs and to bolster the workforce at the mine. We've also signed a large-scale Ondal flooring contract with a neighboring estate. We gave them a 30% discount, leaving our net profit margin at only 10%. When you factor in the sale of the coal afterwards, our final profit will exceed 50%. Next, regarding water pipe, insulation and repairs. Wait, Sir Bart, hold on. You did all that in the time I was gone. You told me to take care of the rest, I was just doing what I was told. An update for you, sir. Interior work on the last on project is complete and awaiting your inspection. I'll be right... All right, I'll be re I'll be there in thirty minutes. Oh, he's a genius. Hmm. This is well made. Well made now. No flaws at all. Very good work. All those times I raised my voice at you. Think of them as leading up to this moment. You are now the most important people on our traveling building, traveling build team. Damn, he's amazing. He's so capable. Extremely capable. He's wasted as a knight, is what you can say, right? Sir, you were born in the wrong era. Mm -hmm. If you were in Korea, you would have been at least a managing director at a big corporation. The bonus. I need to give this man a huge bonus. Installation of all flooring. The Frontera Estates home is homes is complete. A new page has been written in the continent's history books. With Ondal now known as the Frontera Heating System. A large amount of RP will be awarded for this monumental achievement in construction. 400, that's it, bro. That's cheap. As it turns out, the large scale Ondal flooring contract was all the work of the Baron and Baroness. These two also had a gift for something other than being Lord and Lady of an estate. For the moment you're born, your luck begins. For so many people, they'll either, they'll either laugh or cry, depending on the era that they're born in. That looks safe. <laughs> so we need a storage building this large for, for all the coal. Of course, the coal will keep coming and coming. I paid off more than half of the debt with the money from construction. And we are getting more than enough in water supply fees from our sucker of a neighbor. <laughs> almost there. Our retirement of fun and merriment is almost here. <laughs> Sometimes I can't stand it when he makes that face. So I find myself wanting to punch him. Mm, huh? What's that noise? I too have never heard it before, but I think it is. The sound of the horn announcing the arrival of the royal messenger. Royal messenger. Huh? What is the royal messenger doing here? Mm, what? Stop blowing your dick. Huh? Is that a bard? Like, what the fuck? Damn. This man wears sweet clothes. <coughs> clap, 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 clap. Amazing. That's just a ridiculous performance. Get to the point already. Bore. Shut. I'm getting an outrageously strong feeling that this means trouble. Shit. Since the since time imm immemorial, immem immemorial, I along with the great sovereigns that came before me. I have worked hard to achieve peace and comfort for the noble citizens and all else. Wait! Wait, is this about Krimo? Is this about what happened in Krimo? Ah, oh, shit. So I'm late. Not only that, we are relieved to hear of our people's safety. Blah, blah, blah. It is my responsibility to blah, 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 blah. <laughs> for, the, for these reasons, I shall personally greet the two valiant heroes who defeated the Gigatitan and praise them on their achievement. Favor with the Baron increases plus 9. You've received 90 RP. <laughs> this is an honor, your majesty. An honor. Good job, my boy. Good job. <laughs> He's like, oh my god, he made it. No, 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 not that. Anything but that. Thanks for the RP and all, but this is not good. It is horrible. I learned that lesson. The hard way in the army. Do just enough so there are no problems. You should never do more than what is necessary. If you do more than what is necessary, you will get acknowledged. And that is horrible. <laughs> because then... You will get lined, and if you get lined, you will be stuck to someone. Once you break that rule, 
Hey, Corporal Kip. You're a civil engineering major, right? Make us a sauna in that spot over there. You want you want me to make you a sauna? Are we gonna stay for long? Eh, a day. Sorry, civil engineering isn't about being a builder. What? Are you telling me you don't want to do it? No, sir, I'll do it, sir, but... And that was when I made a fail mistake. I researched too hard. I built one that was way too perfect. National defense zone. You are Corporal Kim. You look pretty brainy. Make a nice little cottage for us, would you? What? The, the village... Levy broke, Corporal Kim. Why does this barrack look so flimsy? Hey, Corporal Kim. That mountain is ruining the beautiful view. <laughs> Why, Corporal Kim? Yeah. If you give them something, they will expect more. They will never be happy. Hey, you said his name was Corporal Kim, right? Go fetch him here. <laughs> his entire army life was just building. <laughs> Once Her Royal Highness is involved, it's bye bye to the sweet life of the country noble. Hear ye, hear ye. Lloyd from Terra. And his guard are hereby ordered to travel immediately to the royal capital. I should have just made that sea platform and ended it there. <clears throat> that darn lobster put a curse on me. What do I do? Once I'm on her radar, she'll call on me for the rest of my life. Should I pretend to be an idiot? No, that's dangerous. If she take, takes offense, I'll lose my head. Uh, I'll only do this much. I, I will just play dead. <laughs> You have the face of a man who's about to be executed. I might as well be. <laughs> oh, you have a sharp eye. This is unexpected. You should be happy. No, I should not. Hmm. The Master Lloyd I know would be excited to meet Her Royal Highness, thinking how much can I weasel out of her? I know things about this world. Her Highness Magentano's personality and her future. The state of the capital. If I take advantage of all that, there's gotta be a way. I mean, it's right. Let's take this opportunity to squeeze as much as I can <laughs> out of the royal palace. Eh. You created a monster, Javier. <laughs> Javier's just like, nah, I, I didn't mean for you to actually try it out. Eh. Too late. Lloyd from Terra and Javier Asrahan. You may lift your gaze. Wow, I almost had a heart attack. Your charisma is overwhelming. All hail our majesty, the queen. I, Lloyd Frontera, have come to salute your majesty, the rightful ruler of these lands. Smooth. So it is you. From your auras, it seemed the man beside you was a noble. Oh, for fuck's sake. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Sir Javier Azran, did you say? I sense a mana flow from you that I have never seen before. You seem like a worthy sparring partner for me. Forgive me, your majesty. I am merely a nameless knight. She can tell how they had a special just for looking at him. Shit. I know it. She's one of the only two sword masters in this kingdom. Clumsy flattery won't work on her. Yeah. You s I mean, he does have like a triple mono heart as well. I was like, she should be sensing that. Shouldn't she? Like, come on. You thought he was an old- shut up. See another time, Tony. I heard of your deeds from Count Cremo's account. As such, you have my appreciation for the courage and selflessness you displayed. I just want money. However, I don't judge a man merely based on another's recommendation. I trust only what I have seen for myself. Lloyd is just like, yes, now just let me leave. <laughs> Just as I expect. Lloyd from Terra, I shall put your skills to the test. Now, why would I do anything for you for free, huh? This is it. The top of the top, the highest roller. No less than a chance to win a contract with Her Majesty. Let me ask you, in the current state of affairs, what construction project do you think is most urgently needed in Magenta, the royal capital? So she's starting things off with a quiz, say. Eh? Most necessary construction project. Of course I know this, I know the entire plot of the book. <laughs> you truly are a capable man, you would have noticed it the moment you saw the royal palace. If you were unable to catch that, then I will not acknowledge you. The most urgent construction project in, in Magenta is repairing this crumbling palace. The Magenta River, which runs through the capital, I would place a new bridge on it. 
She cannot be completely satisfied with my response. It wasn't the answer she expected. But with her personality, the test won't end here. <laughs> oh, he did on purpose. She's the one with the highest authority as well as absolute power. She's tolerant, fair, just, and listens to all regardless of class or rank. And your reason? Others may think differently and say that repairing the royal palace is the most urgent right now. I know that a very long time ago. Dragon. The badly tempered dragon took off with the palace's tower on two separate occasions. To prevent it from happening a third time, the entire structure was widened and flattened into its current shape. The magenta castle we see, we see today was built in this weighty manner. And the fears that the whole structure could be lifted up. And so, I believe that the weight of the structure pressing down on the ground and its pillars is causing it to slowly crumble. However, the repairs would only be necessary at a much later date. Therefore, I came to the conclusion that it cannot be seen as urgent. What an impudent man. He knew what I was thinking, yet he gives me a different answer. I know that she knows that I gave her a different answer, even though I knew the answer she was thinking of. <laughs> I see that he knows that I know that he gave a different answer, even though he knew the answer I was thinking <laughs> I know that she knows that I was <laughs> I gave her a different answer, even though she he knew the answer I was thinking of. Are we seriously going to do this? Enough with the nonsense, yeah, no. Are you toying with me? Is that it? I would never... I am begging for a contract. Construction fees. Construction fees. <laughs> the current bridge across the Medina River has been rebuilt 12 times already. The bridge collapses regularly because it is unable to withstand the rising waters in the spring. What's up, David? Good afternoon. Each time it happens, people's lives are inconvenienced. Large amounts of money are spent on it. Everyone sees the rebuilding of the bridge as an inevitable, inevitable, inevitable part of nature. However, if your majesty would trust me with its construction, it would never fall. I will build a bridge that will not collapse even if there are spring floods or drift ice. I'm talking about a modern suspension bridge. Damn. Even criticizes my decisions. Why this? Arrogant and insolent man. I mean, this is just talking facts, though. The more I speak with him, the more I seem to like him. Like him. Tell more about this bridge you'll construct. What's up, Chris? Yeah, it's good. Thank you, Your Majesty. Although, this is a pretty long series. We're on chapter 37 now. Nice, I knew she'd like it. She absolutely despises yes men who drown her in flattery. And she puts unlimited trust in those with strong convictions. <laughs> the bridge I will build is called a suspension bridge. It's the most suitable for bridges. Wide gap to make this tower. Opposite side of the bridge. Raised high and supportable. Cables. Toast cables. She doesn't get anything. And I've, and I've, I have suddenly lost interest. <laughs> this is our Queen Magenta. But she's eventually betrayed by the one she cherished. cherished. Loses one of her arms. And turns evil, transforming into the butchering tyrant. That story is three years into the future. Right now, she's an honorable queen who listens even to the lowly. And if that bridge fails, I would gather my things and flee the country. <laughs> <laughs> then you can have my head, your majesty. In exchange, while that bridge stands, please guarantee my family's station. Hmm. So he has made me smile in the end. Fine, you may carry out your plans. I promise you reasonable compensation and upholding of your family's station. <laughs> what is that? Contract, your majesty. Please sign it. Are you saying you, don't, you do not trust my word? You prepared a contract. Why this little? Not at all, your majesty. It's just a precaution. This contract states that if I do not construct this bridge in an honest manner, that I am to be hung, drawn, and quartered. Consider this a necessary shackle for such an untrustworthy and lowly man as myself, your highness. It, it says also that he's she's gonna pay him rent. Oh, I'm being sweet talking to something if I don't mind it. A thousand thanks, your majesty. What is with your bottom? <laughs> Can lower my head any lower than your signatures. I raise my behind to make it seem lower. I understand your intentions. 
I lower it. I don't want to see. Huh. Sure. <laughs> Did you see that? This guy right here just ripped off the queen. <laughs> this contract. She didn't even read it. You could have lost your head if she thought you were being disrespectful. I cannot stop a sword master as a please exercise caution. Your Majesty, he is a clever man, very calculating. Sir Kyle, you notice it as well. He's more shrewd than I had thought. Were you not slightly displeased by the man? Oh, I was. He assumed from the beginning that he could beat me, but he seemed so pathetic that it was rather adorable. <laughs> adorable. Adorable. A few days later. Up you go. Will it really be all right going alone? Why would, I, why would I need an escort in the capital with all its security? Besides, it's a huge pain walking around with you. Earlier, when you went out to survey, I couldn't cause her at all because of you. God damn it. Get away from me. <laughs> Please tell Master Julian that I am doing well. <laughs> oh my god. He could never get anything with him around. Yeah, yeah, sure thing. Get up. Julian from Terra is Lloyd's little brother, who is studying at the Royal Academy. Before we left for the capital, the Baroness prepared heaps of winter clothes and blankets. She asked that I take them to Julian. That reminds me what happens to him in the book. It's around this time that the Baron loses everything and is unable to pay the tuition, so he's kicked out of the dorms, I think, and then kills himself, dies. He dies wandering around at night, killed by a thief. But that won't happen now. We're pretty amazing, saving lives and all. Unless that thief was targeting him, which means it'll kill him anyway. Well then, time to go see my little brother. I don't even know what he looks like. Hmm. How am I going to find him? <laughs> Just use that douche of persona. How did my brother look like again? I don't remember. I don't remember what he looks like. Are you my brother? No. No, I'm pretty sure he has red hair. <laughs> did you color your hair? Or he wants a redhead? No? Yes? Oh, it is you. No? Uh, the Magentana Royal Academy. What the? What are you doing here? Is that my brother? Oh, he looks like a prick. I remember him and how they had being the same age. But he's just so small. Look at that face staring at his own brother like that. Lloyd must have been a piece of work. Hmm. As long as I'm not too nice to him and act like I've turned over a new leaf, maybe he won't be too suspicious. Here's from mother. Oh, he didn't call me shit at On top of that, he came all this way because mother asked him to. He's suspicious of who you are due to your uncharacteristic kindness. Kind kindness? You call that kindness? What? How do you do <laughs> What I did to just... What? what, what? No, it was nice. That was nice. Oh, jeez. This lawyer guy is so exhausted. All right, later, you little shit. <laughs> you left without hitting me. What's wrong with him? His suspicions are multiplying given your humane. <laughs> Freaking love this. I even called him a little shit. What do I need to do? Suck him in the head? Uh. Also, do you think you could have lunch with Julian? Think of how lonely he must be. Gosh. Hey, you little shit. Is there a restaurant around here? Not some cheap place, somewhere fancy. There, there is. Why? What do you mean, why? I'm gonna buy you lunch, you little shit. <laughs> but why? Why? Because mother asked me to. Little shit. <laughs> Just keep going. Come on, you can do better than little shit. <clears throat> I have the basic set. Ugh, you soulless or what? Get something expensive. You probably don't get to come to places like this often. You little. You soulless. Ginger. <laughs> he forgot, didn't he? He forgot to call me a little shit, so he said it later. <laughs> then I'll go for the special set. Why is he acting so normal? He used to curse so much, and he would kick me if I just looked at him. This guy has to be one of my favorite MCs, the way he's written. Yeah. Uh, we'll have to, two special set. These. You seem like you're from out of town. Would you care for any wine, sir? I will say this though. Like, he, he is a discount, Kale. He's a great character, but he's a discount, Kale. No, oh, thank you. I don't, I don't know. 
I stopped drinking. <laughs> what? He stopped drinking. He used to be drunk 24 hours a day and cause all sorts of trouble. But even though he is kind of a discount kill in my opinion, he's still one of the greatest MCs out there. Like, and that says a lot about that says that says more about Kale than it says about him. <laughs> a few days ago, someone from the palace came to see me. They told me that the trading port of Cremo was attacked by Giga Titan, and that the person who defeated Giga Titan was Lloyd Frontera. I can't believe it. The Lloyd Frontera I know has neither the skills nor the mind to do something like that. It's definitely either an unfounded rumor. Or him stealing credit for something Javier did. At least that's what I thought, but this is so strange. He's just so different. He's like a completely different person. Ah! What's a nobel like you doing here? And I'm sorry, something came up today. Something came up. What kind of something? Didn't you learn anything in your law class? Keep punishing him? Like, come on. I'm sitting right here, bro. What? what? Is the law malleable? Can you just break the rules because you feel like it? The barren scum should eat where they can't be seen. Why? Because you offend, you offend their eyes. Your family is nothing just because you come to a nice place like this. He's just like, okay, you can insult my brother, but insulting me? Nah. <laughs> you think you become something now? You impoverished piece of trash. What do you even have on that estate of yours? Oh, that's right, you have your filthy mangy peasants. I think. So they call it an academy, but they value their family status over the over academics. And it annoys them even more that the son of a poor country baron is near the top of his class. What'd I do? If I help him, life for him here will only get harder. Julian is also giving me eyes that I shouldn't interfere. So maybe I should just sit still. Lacona, my family recognized by the royal family. You need to be at least at that level to be able to eat here. Oh, he's like, huh. We are recognized though. Lakona. Oh, Lakona. We scout Lakona. <laughs> he's just like, mm hmm. Okay, okay, I can use that. <laughs> Computing. <laughs> Analyzing data. <laughs> Calculation complete. What does your father do for a living? My father, he's the wise and merciful Wiscount, Akona. What's it to you? Are you related to this trash? Now stop stinking this place out and be it. <laughs> yeah, just get slapped. <laughs> oh, get that. It's so... Wait, did he lose a tooth from getting slapped? How hard did you slap? Oh, wait, right, right, right. Swordmaster, I get you. Or he's not a swordmaster, but he's like, he's got a triple heart, so that's got to give a lot of mana, right? <laughs> <laughs> Why is he spinning like a Beyblade? <laughs> Let it rip. Come on, Dragoon. End, Kai. Attack, mana, bitch slap. Has a cooldown on for zero seconds. I can I can slap infinitely. Uh, that's not a real thing. How dare this fucker mess with a member of the elite union. Get slapped. <laughs> I love how he just slaps that one tooth at a time. I am the second year's top dog. It's Bond, the, the Mithril Fists. Today you're dead me. Get slapped. <laughs> Where are they? What arrogant asshole is making trouble? Here they come. It's the Count's twin sons, the Black Dragons. Double horns. Double horns. Huh? Get slapped. He doesn't stand a chance against a brilliant combined attack. Get double slapped. <laughs> you know he's about to double slap them, right? One. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just knew it was coming, like twins. <laughs> you double slap. This is my double slap attack. You were the one blabbering about some double horns just now, right? I, I, I didn't say anything. No, no, no I uh, get slapped. <laughs> get slapped, okay? Just get slapped. We, we didn't say anything. Not one thing. But you were giggling. <laughs> but you were giggling. <laughs> get slapped. <laughs> He's addicted to slapping people now. He can't stop. He cannot stop himself. Get slapped. <laughs> Doesn't even look like he slapped anyone. He's just like, ah. <laughs> Brutal with a smile. Excellent. Yeah. Die, you fucker. Oh, he saw that two teeth. Does that mean he slapped him twice? Now, 
slap it another one. Did he just break his hand punching him? How did you like that? Getting mana punched by mana prodigy like me? Diego Lacona, age 21. Wait, what? My hand. The young man regretted his decision because his arm broke, right? Mm -hmm. I shouldn't have. <laughs> thrown that punch. <laughs> you shouldn't have thrown that punch. No. Ah, he. He. Freaking love this series. Freaking love this series. <laughs> He's just like, nah, that's more like my brother. <laughs> oh. <Yeah>, enough. <laughs> Lloyd has completely lost it. He never really had it together, but this is even worse. I was an idiot for thinking that he could be a normal, sane individual even for a moment. Yeah, but like, normally would he be able to beat all these people? Why, superintendent? Wait, he was just here. Where is the voice? He's slapping him. He's gone. The voice superintendent is being slapped. <laughs> Did you imagine if he like punches or like pushes this guy up the, up to the wall and he's grabbing the superintendent and slaps him? <laughs> yeah, that, that's what we do here. You don't understand what's going on right now, do you? You have no clue whatsoever why you're getting beat up like this, do ya? Why isn't Mercer with Scout Lacona? What a load of crap. Why is it always the way you like father, like son, right? Sup, Brady. Brady. Sup, Brady. Dude, headbutting people. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it depends how you do it, though. Like, if you headbutt against head. Uh, but, like, you need to go for the nose. Like, break the nose. It hurts a bit, but, like, come on. <laughs> hurts a bit, but. Uh, as, as long as. It's like with everything. If you, like, punch wood, if, if you break through the god. <laughs> The plank. If you break through the plank, then it doesn't hurt. If you don't break through it, oh damn, it hurts. It's like with everything. If you like break his nose, it doesn't hurt as much because you, your momentum doesn't stop. It just goes through. You know what I mean? You son of a bitch. You crossed the line talking about my father. And you think bullying a classmate is okay? You son of a <laughs> Want me to tell you why you're such an asshole? Because there's no one around to beat some sense into you. Oh. What do we have here? This look, this, look at this. What does this look like? Uh, an idiot sandwich. And blood pool, blood skull. Skate number 666 to hell for pieces of utter garbage like you. This is the gate to hell, I go through. Stop it, knock it out. Huh? Are you trying to kill him or something? Nah, I'm way, I'm way beyond that. <laughs> and what happens after this? I'm going to be bullied even more. I know you're thoughtless, but this is too much. Are you worried about being bullied worse after this? Don't worry. If he's dead, he can't bully. <laughs> if I kill him, how is he gonna bully you? How can he say that with such a bright smile? Yes, yes. I saw lots of guys like this back in high school. <laughs> bullies. I hate bullies. <laughs> Sanctions. Guidance. Don't make me laugh. None of it gets through to them. You just need to beat it into them. <laughs> best thing for them is the fear of death. I'll show him the brink. Stop this at once. This is the Sacred Academy funded by Her Royal Highness. What is the meaning of this ruckus? <laughs> is it gonna completely change the persona? Ah, nothing's wrong here, is it? Wait, he's not going to beat the Dean and the Guard as well, is he? He loses his head, that's gonna be a beheading. Let me introduce myself. I am the eldest son of Baron Arcos from Terra. I'm brother to the academy student Julian from Terra. I am Lloyd from Terra. What's he suddenly so cool? It's like he was waiting for this to happen. I'd like to apologize for causing such a commotion. I was merely attempting to restore Her Majesty's honor. Ludicrous, who dares to sell Her Majesty's name? This here is the son of the Lacona family. He has abused my brother Julian and, and humiliated him. You, sir, in the back. I'm sure you saw it. Oh, did you not? You looked like you had no intention of restraining him. So I guess you didn't see it then. 
<laughs> it's obvious why I didn't step in. The staff of this academy were all recommended by the nobility. They likely didn't want to lose the trust of high-ranking aristocrats, children. And the students go on to form regional cliques, who will then grow up and influence the academy once again. There's no way that anyone on the staff of the academy, including these men here, was unaware of Julian being bullied. But they probably turned a blind eye. Until now. <laughs> He's a son of a poor baron. There's no benefit in helping him. Well, that is until now. Even if that were true, what does that have to do with her majesty? An insult to my brother is an insult to me. But then, oh dear, what do we do? Because I am... That's... A royal guest. <laughs> Especially invited by her majesty. Oh, isn't this pretty? <laughs> All hail her royal highness. I believe you understand the situation, so I will take my leave. Hmm. Imbecile, the status of royal guest is only temporary. We punish Julian later and treat the beat up students better. <laughs> nah, you don't, bro. What? What was that look? It's like he's going to kill me. What are you doing? Come on. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Where are we going? The administrator's office. I'm about to, <laughs> to slap some more. <laughs> Why are we going there? I feel like slapping some more people. What do you mean? Why? I'm going to request a leave of absence for you. How much more? How much more of my life must you screw up until you're satisfied? What? Sup, cock quite cheap. Sup, cheap. I'm going to be bullied even more now because of you. And you're stopping me from my study? Why are you doing this to me? Because soon this place isn't going to be very good for studying. Let's take this chance to rest your mind and get your body in shape. Shape. Have you ever heard the phrase of all the muscles? Construction work muscles are the best. What is happening? Eh, we're just reading some greatest estate, greatest estate developer. Oh, what was it? Magentano Palace. Royal guests quarters. Master Lloyd says he has a plan and you should trust him. It will turn out for your. It will turn out for your good. What are you talking about? This is Lloyd we're talking about. He's a brute and it's his plan. Yeah, he's changed. Do you not believe my word? The plan to bring down a Giga Titan in Krima. That was all Master Lloyd. Master Lloyd made a final blow himself. He's built roads and opened waterways. He developed quarries and mines and made friends of the wild orcs. He's paid off more than half the Baron's huge debts. All thanks to Master Lloyd's skills and talents. Oh yeah, and greed. <laughs> Please trust him. Oh yeah, don't forget the greed. Master Lloyd is our estate's savior. He's just like, oh, did he just say that about me? Bang. I'm touched. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm touched. Can't believe it. It's hard to trust him. He was just a drunken hooligan. He was an intelligent and uncivil. Hey, I can hear you. <laughs> he was human trash. He was a dirtbag beyond all help. Aww. What do you think of it? Has someone truly changed like that? No, it is impossible. I have rather convinced myself that he is not Lloyd. That he is not Lloyd. Someone else disguising themselves as Master Lloyd. Hmm. Damn, he found out. Then again, is that a bad thing? <laughs> Technically, I'm not. He's not disguising himself, so he's wrong. More like Lloyd died and he took over. <clears throat> someone else. Are you saying that someone stole Lloyd's body? Like black magic or something? I imagine that could be a possibility. It was merely a theory I read in the book. But for a soul to inhabit someone else's body, it would require a powerful mana tether. Thus I investigated this matter in secret. To see if there was a flow of mana forcing a foreign soul to the body. Oh, he did that? Well, was there another soul? No, I did not feel the presence of any unusual mana force. The soul seemed to be very naturally connected to the body. <sighs> Please forget what I just said. It was just wild speculation. Sure, but Lloyd suddenly changing like this is even more wild. I mean, he's living a life of Lloyd, so you could call him Lloyd and he wouldn't be wrong. Yeah. Sure, but... 
How dare you slide devil? There's no way you're not sensing my presence outside this door, you son of a bitch. <laughs> he obviously wanted me to hear that. Is he trying to tell me that he's suspicious of me? Not before. That was the first time I heard of our family's deaths. I thought it was just me having a hard time with my studies and all. But Lloyd was doing all that work to pay off our debts all this time. I had the most comfortable life out of us all. I suppose I should give him some credit, huh? His sailor estate. Your approval rating by Julie increased by two points. Only two? You received 28 bonus RP. That's nothing. Your approval rating, minus 50. <laughs> oh, Julian is also considered by Lloyd as a key character. So you're going to be my RP fountain, I take it. Julian opening his heart up to you. You're not touched by that? Nope. I don't know. I don't know, whatever. Go away. Go away. Hey, Julian. Everything is ready, so let's go. Uh, go where? I told you to train up your body. We're going to a quarry. We're gonna dig. Step one in manufacturing mother suspension bridge cables. Spread oil base clay to make his three feet wide pizza dough base. Let's go. Top the dough with all kinds of dirt and rocks to complete the pizza. Nice pizza, isn't it? Doesn't it look good? You want a piece? We don't have a big enough oven though. Step three, eat up. Eat up the pizza. That seems like a waste. <laughs> Step four, bungle. Now expel the pizza. Step five, once the metal wire has cooled, gather and roll 120 strands together. Here we go. Everything is ready to manufacture the cables. There, that ends the tutorial. Now, it's your turn. Eat, bring me a pizza. Huh? This task is the starting point of this whole construction project. If this part is messed up, everything else will be messed up. You hear me? This is your job. Pizza time. It's not only our estate's debt, but your future at the academy rests on this. I told you, it's pizza time. Toby, it's actually. Then this is really important. Why would you trust me with it? Huh? What are you talking about? We're family. Because it's important, someone intelligent and responsible should be in charge. Someone like you. You little shit. <laughs> you little shit. <laughs> Just have to add it with little shit. You soulless bastard. You daywalker. Lloyd. You were a tad late with that little shit again. Yeah, I did it on purpose. Watching this while driving to different states. <laughs> Bam! The modern suspension bridge. Fans will idea with this error's technical knowledge. I hope you're not like you're not the one driving though, Bronco, right? You're you're watching the road. You need to watch the road so you don't crash. You need to be careful on the road. Scary. Modern suspension bridge, it's fans will idea with this error's technical knowledge. Yeah. Of course, even if I did everything in my power, it would still be impossible. Which means I need to borrow the power of a different technology. No. Royal Dwarf Master Craftsman, Corgidus, Corgidus? No, I'm not driving. That's good, Bronco. That is good. <laughs> but I haven't said anything yet. I don't want to hear about it now. Now scream. I knew it. A bullheaded old man, just as he's described in the novel. I hear he doesn't move unless he's interested. Even if it's a request from the Queen. That's why I prepared a powerful weapon. These are the blueprints for a new bridge I will build over the Magena River. This here is called a truss. Well, I don't have any interest in some silly human design. Hmm. What? Oh, I see. Please forgive me. I was much too presumptuous. I'll entrust these plans to some other blacksmith then. Wait. <laughs> yeah, wait. Show that to me again. One more time. Hey, got him. Got him. Hook, line, sinker. That design, if you don't get the structure's rigidity exactly right, you know what's going to happen, right? Of course. It will snap. The bridge will collapse and all those on it will die. And I will be blamed for their deaths. Shouting from my scaffold. If only Corgidus had made the trusses. <laughs> if only Corgidus was with me. If only I had Corg Corgidus on my side. You arrogant prick. Is that a threat? Well, no. Of course not. I'm just I'm stating facts. Just saying the truth. It's a plea to master's conscience. <laughs> Your face looks like you're threatening me. Nah, I'm not threatening you. I'm just looking at you with a smile. Give them here and take a better look. Hmm. 
I'm certain of one thing. I'm the only person in this kingdom who could make this. Give this to any other duns and you'll get yourself a disaster. That is why I'm threatened. <coughs> I mean, asking for your help, sir. <laughs> Are you still making that face? Get that look off your face, you thug. You can design something like this. You must have planned this in order to pique my interest. How dare I do something like that? I can only rely on your warm heartedness. <laughs> totally knock that look off. And also, what is up with that evil laughter? Fine. Let's do it. Thank you so much. Julian is continuing work on the wires. The Royal Workshop has begun work on the bridges of thrust work. Alvaid and I will start work on the suspension tower. Beautiful. Time for a bridge. Ready. Blast. Stop this work immediately. Huh? How dare you defraud Her Highness and steal from the Royal Treasury. What? We will not let you get away with this. What? Steal? Please, Your Highness, we beseech you to pass judgment. Why do I stole them again? There's already a bridge on the Magenta River that has stood for 30 years. Oh. Nevertheless, that man is creating unnecessary work to go after royal funds. Wait, it has, it has stood for 30 years? Damn. We petition you to punish that fraudster and instead put your efforts into repairing the palace. Wait. So, okay, so I didn't steal anything. I haven't gotten anything yet, so you can't say that I was stolen. You could say that I am a fraudster. That's like the gray. That's like the only thing you can say. But like, stolen? I haven't stolen shit yet. Yet. <laughs> I am surprised to hear that the bridge has stood for 30 years though. I thought it was like, they had to change it every like year. <laughs> now each side will state their case. Starting with the guild, the Magenta Bridge, built by the previous guild leader, has stood in that spot for 30 years. Builders Guild of Magenta, City Guild leader, Victor. Support columns are wedge-shaped to slow down the swift currents of the Magenta River. To suddenly come here and say that the bridge will fall is a clear insult to the guild and a sly slight at Her Royal Highness, the Queen. <laughs> yeah. Nope, that bridge collapses. <laughs> In the Night of Blood and Iron, there's a scene where the Royal Army and the Rebels face off at the Magina River. This event happens during a massive rainstorm. The bridge collapses as it ends up in a standstill. I can't bring up future events. Lord Ruterra, state your opinion. I like to ask the official si sitting beside a gillette or something. Official. Okay. How much were you paid? Hmm. <laughs> what? Why, you little- How dare you make such a false accusation in front of Her Royal Highness? His reaction says it all. It's true. It's like he has been- It's like he has- I'm being paid off, written all over his face. Anyone who is Korean knows just what happens when a politician and a businessman meet. Either the politician takes money from the businessman, or the businessman bribes the politician while asking for favors. In this case, it's the latter. Take away all business rights and monopolize the budget. Lloyd from Terra. I thought you were a clever man, but you have committed a grave mistake. To crownlessly accuse a royal official. Less! Prepare his judgment at once. <laughs> Listen well, Lloyd from Terra. You have insulted me and a royal vassal with your lies. Lies, really? Now I shall restore my honor. Okay, cut my head off then. Any last words? He's gonna laugh. Exterminate the guilty ones. Entire bloodline. Do both of you also agree with this? This is the right thing to do, your majesty. Then now... I shall prove my vassal's innocence. What? Huh? <laughs> like, <laughs> got you. <laughs> Prove it. Summon the confession spell. Wait, 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 Your Majesty, hold on. Your Majesty, Your, your, your Majesty. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, it's gonna come some like evil music now, like some some death note type shit. Ah, uh, shit. Like. 
Your families have done no wrong, so I pleaded with the queen to only go this far. Oh, I'm just so nice. <laughs> I'm just the same, aren't I? <laughs> I was a bit annoyed that construction got delayed due to those worthless punks. Put all of the kingdom's workers on the bridge's construction. All hail our darling queen. Hooray. High wizards use gravitational magic to lighten the weight of the stone blocks. Work on the suspension tower, finishing the flag. In a flash. Bungle, get ready for launch. Launch it. Bungle, bungle. Fire! Bungle! <laughs> Yee. Yeah. Oh my god. Like, isn't the tower going to, like, get crushed from, <laughs> from the impact, though? Like, come on. Oh, alright. Okay, I get you. I, I didn't really think about it. he was going to catch him with his stomach. That makes sense. Although, like, the weight he's standing, like, I would, I would think, like, the, probably, like, the, the ground would just cease to exist. <laughs> would just fall. Here comes the second cable. Lloyd is incredible. You're also incredible, Master Julian. It was your first time doing hard labor, yet you showed up every day. You remember, when you were young, you asked me to teach you how to use a sword. Yet you nearly hurt yourself because it was too heavy for you. No. I don't see that being a problem. Oh, you're going to teach him, huh? You suck at that wall. Let's go. Huh. Construction! Complete! Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. Construction of Magenta City Suspension Bridge is complete. A large amount of bonus RP will be awarded for this monumental achievement in construction. Bonus RP, 1050. Oh yeah. Just saving bit by bit, I'm now swimming in RP, sweet. I would I would use it on the mono heart, but hey, I would also train swordmanship, so yeah. <laughs> Ask me. This bridge shall be named after Lloyd from Terror and his brave knight. I hereby name this bridge Lojali. Lodge. What? That's not even close to my name. You just just call it Lloyd. Just call it Lloyd. Lloyd Davi or something, at least. Also, by the powers invested in me, I bestowed the title of Master Builder onto Lloyd from Terra. Master Builder, that runt. I was the one who made the whole platform, but he is the only one able to design something like this. I'll give him that much. Once the money for construction starts pouring in, that will likely settle the estate status. However, there's still one giant hurdle left. He needs a contract with her. Now then, how to utilize this man? There are so many ways to put him to use. Also, yeah, okay, that, that's the more important thing. Like, not to get involved with her too much. The queen is debating right now how to put me to use. Yeah, But I absolutely refuse to do it. My dream is to be a rich bum who spends his days eating and sleeping. <laughs> Alright, let's stick to the plan. I have a request for you. Let us return to the royal palace and talk. Escape the queen's script while solving Julian's academy problem. As you wish, your highness. Operation double kill. Yeah. You want to use all of your achievements to help Julian, right? So you don't have to do anything extra. <laughs> Such a great brother. Such a great, great brother. Amazing kindness from him. I, Queen Alicia, Termina, Magentano, hereby pro proclaim the following. I bestow upon you, Lloyd from Terra, a noble tile and an estate fitting your abilities. Yeah, that's what he doesn't want. Hmm. He's the son of a country baron. On top of that, he caused the sanction of high-ranking officials like themselves. They can't be happy about him being given tile on land. It will be a pain to try and quell their complaints. We give thanks and praise for your majesty's boundless generosity. However, if I may be so bold, I beseech you for something bigger. <laughs> Boom. Bigger, you say? Speak. If your majesty deems my request reasonable, then please withdraw the offer of land and title. Let me hear it, and then I shall decide. What does he want? A royal post? A larger fee? Whatever it is, it wouldn't change my desire to have him by my side. What I would like is a thorough cleansing of the Royal Academy. Yeah. To explain. 
Magenta Royal Academy is currently full of corruption, inequality, and despicable behavior. Students focus more on their cliques than their studies, and subject stu and subject students of lower rank uh, oh and subject students of lower ranks to mental and physical suffering. Yeah. The academy's educators are aware of this, yet turn a blind eye. More interested in lining their pockets with kickbacks to satisfy their own interests. The students indulge themselves in sweet in the sweetness of power when they should be learning. And they build up social barriers when they should be embracing their aspirations for this world. These are a far cry from the aims with which the academy was established. Boom. Oh, yes, my lord. These are the results of a four-month investigation my knight and I have put together from academy graduates. The handyman who did our jobs. And down to the teachers with a conscience who had left fed up with the academy's corruption. We have carefully recorded their testimonies and investigated their claims. Your Highness, this lowly man is spewing lies. <laughs> it is all lies. So what is his evidence then? <laughs> it is fake. It's fake news. That's right. How could such a thing happen at Royal Academy? Those who just opened their traps. Summon the confession spell on them. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, this wasn't supposed to happen. What is going on? Oh no. Her Majesty is approaching. Her Majesty is approaching. Duh. I mean, this will just get her more interested in, in Lloyd, though, so I don't know exactly how this is. Duh. Arrest all of the people mentioned on the list. No exceptions. Even those they associate with or have the slightest connection to. Okay, that's, that's a bit harsh. Give them lashes according to their crime. Relieve them of their posts. Confiscate their lands. They should be prepared to face even execution. I have done not, I have done no wrong. Spare me, I beg you. I'm being fair. I'm being framed. This is a setup. <laughs> Clean out the trash. You seem very pleased by cleaning out the academy. This was fun. What are you talking about? That's not it. My darling queen, she's completely forgotten I exist. Now I just need to sneak back to the countryside and enjoy the fruits of my labor. <laughs> I mean, she's gonna find you though. I understand that you are pleased, but you, but must you make that face? Message from her royal highness. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> she hasn't forgotten you. Like I said, Lloyd, how would you forget you after you did that? Like, come on, come on. You should know better. You may go when you wish, but be sure to attend tomorrow's night's banquet. What? Oh, yes. Also, she says your plan to create a diversion with the Academy was outstanding, and that she respects your wish to live the sweet, lazy life. So I was always in the palm of her hand. Ugh. That is all. I mean, she accepted it, though. Lucky you. Could have done with those spells with my... <laughs> Dang. Jeez, he scared a crap out of me. You just sense that guy approaching. Not at all. Yes, you did. That is Sir Kyle, the kingdom's top swordmaster. Okay, so he couldn't. Hiding his presence from a knight of my level would have been very easy. Lord, you beat up the Diego knowing all this would happen? Obviously. Well, basically. Well, basically. I plan to wrap up the construction order by the queen nicely. And then if she was going to give me a bonus, I was going to ask her to investigate the academy. I had her trust. I had her trust. Justification for it, and I knew it would work. So yeah, easy. You little shit. <laughs> Lloyd, what? What do you want, you little shit? Okay, I'll size it. You don't have to force yourself to call me you little shit anymore. <laughs> I don't. You're my brother, I trust you, and I'm proud of you. More than anyone else. Huh? I don't have to call you little shit? Finally, stop saying it. Julian from Terra thinks of you as the hero who awoke to face the family's crisis. His resentment towards you has faded, and he now respects and accepts you. Your approval rating by Julian increased by 65 points. You received 910 bonus RP. Dang. Whoa. What? That was so cringe, I'm gonna vomit. Yeah, I regret it too. <laughs> Lloyd from Terra, come. Draw near you. She's like, shit. I'm trying to hide here. <laughs> Don't you get it? Did you think I wouldn't notice you like that? You look like a mole cricket. <laughs> Stand out even more. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean, your highness? I'm fine like this. 
You still you can you can still see me? How? No, Your Majesty, I was uh I'm in awe of your highness's insults. Oh do you agree, Sir Azran? A mole cricket indeed, Your Highness. Most definitely a mole cricket. Hey, stop stop ex Ugh. What's someone gotten into you? And why do you look so relieved? Call back to episode fifteen. 15. I don't remember that. Did you not hear my command to draw near? Ah, uh, for forgive me. I have... I, I need a hearing aid. What's a hearing aid? Nothing. Closer. Closer. Uh, closer. What? Even closer. <laughs> closer. What? This is too close. Forgive me, Your Highness, if I go any closer. <laughs> Forgive me, Your Highness, if I go any closer, we will kill- Uh, what? Huh? If you ever change your mind, come see me. I'll have everything ready for you. This banquet is for you. Enjoy yourself. If I ever change my mind? What check, what is this? Of course, the best thing would be to lounge around. But what if there is a natural disaster and the state is in trouble? Then I'd have to work to keep going. It's like I've got myself a nice little nest egg. I want to get back to the state already <coughs> with the enormous fee I got from construction. Now it's time to live my life. Oh, we. I mean, something's gonna happen. Did you forget about the war? It's coming. Wait, hold on. There's still a plot point three years later regarding the queen turning evil. Hey, I need to change that. When that happens, the next day again, the state will be in vain. I need to change that. Right. The banquet. We'll continue until the moon sets. Wait, I know that line. But that's supposed to be three years from now. <laughs> it's from when the queen is poisoned and loses one of her arms. It's a secret code used by those plotting to, ass to assassinate her. But that's not supposed to happen for another three years, so why now? It's, you you changed the future. You changed the future, bro. And why is it coming from Sir Kyle? Sir Kyle is the one. Traitor! Traitor to your country, son of a bitch. Kyle, you will meet your end. Although he's the strongest one in the country, right? So yeah, we, we kind of screwed. Confession scroll. Ugh. Did I have too much to drink? I'm sure I've had my usual amount. I've been working too hard these past few days. With Academy preparing... With Academy preparing for the floods. Like, my question is like, can he just walk in there? Hey, you, Queen, you've been poisoned. You poisoned me? No, 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 I didn't poison you. I just I just know you're, po you're poisoned. How? I don't know. Uh, I read the book. Read the book. What, which poison? I don't know. In the movement of Osfahan, our enemy state. Go save Empress Lord. Some other kind. I mean, you kind of have to. He's assembling an army in his western lands. My question is though, do Ossie even know what poison it is? According to my spies, it wasn't just a military exercise. It's an invasion? Unlikely. That were his goal. He would have assembled his men in the north, where our borders meet. Bajantano. Wilderness. Asfahan. Another build up. Okay. Marching through that wild terrain is a suicide mission. What exactly is his scheme? Flying! It's gonna fly. <laughs> That's odd. Or what is he planning? He's got people inside your court, your majesty. The effects of this much alcohol should easily be neutralized by my body's mana. Can't control my heartbeat. It's becoming hard to breathe, my mana. I need to circulate my mana to neutralize the... Duh. I don't get how she's gonna lose her arm. Oh wait, is she going... Oh, okay, I, 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 I think I get what she's gonna do. She's gonna use her mana to like get all the poison into the arm. And then she's gonna chop it off to get the poison out. Poison. It's poison. But all of the food was thoroughly checked. Is, is, is there someone out there? I mean, Lloyd's gonna be there, right? Anybody? Get the Royal Doctor. Sir, Sir Kyle? Doctor! Kyle, get me a doctor. Thank goodness you're here in my time of need. Give me your hand. Your Majesty is right. Thank goodness I am here with you. Let me help you rest in peace. Or he's just gonna chop off her arm and she's somehow not gonna die from poison. Oh yeah, there's a problem. Let's go. 
Aren't you going to ask what's going on? <laughs> I also felt a strange mana force. What, what do I need to do? Uh, kill Sir Kyle? <laughs> what? Save the queen? Get rewarded? Wait, I don't want to get rewarded. Knock out the Swordmaster. I know you are not kidding, but please do not joke. <laughs> I know I know you are not kidding, but please do not joke. Then how about buying us some time? One minute. Two minutes. Eh, I'll do my best. Duh. Three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, this is like you negotiating. Okay, 10 minutes. Nah. 5 minutes? 15 minutes. What? <laughs> I'll do 15 minutes. I'll take it. Let's go. Duh. <sighs> it's kind of incredible how she's not losing immediately. If, isn't he supposed to be like way stronger than her? Isn't he supposed to be the strongest... Swordmaster, magnificent, your majesty. You had a lethal dose of poison, yet you have blocked three strikes by my blade. Sir Kyle, why are you doing this? Well, obviously, he's from Afrahan. Afrahan? Afrahan? Was that what it was? I see it. <laughs> nice save. Attack! <laughs> now, why are you not using your sword? Oh, right, he doesn't have a sword because he's in the royal palace. Gotcha. Obviously. Stupid man. <laughs> oh shit! Also, how are you expecting him to hold out? Okay, sure, if he had a sword, he could probably hold out longer. Like, bro, what is this? What is this? He blocked my sword with a candlestick? What in the world? Uh. High frequency mana, circle cushion. <sighs> uh. Never seen mana used like that before. Ah, finishing. Watch your mouth. Go. Ah, your royal wallet, high. Ah, your wallet, your royal wallet, ah, highness. Hmm. Lloyd, what are you doing here? Save the chit chat for later. Astron core technique. He's like, what? What is he doing? <laughs> Mon absorption. Ah. Is he gonna absorb the poison? Like, what the fuck? Empress has two swords, man. Thinking of Empress has two swords. Uh, go, set Empress down. I get that he's supposed to like absorbing the poison, but like if he does that, won't he get the poison? How is he gonna cure himself? The aura sword. Only sword master can conjure it. Or maybe he's like taking out the mana. Wait, if she loses her mana, he's not, she's not that strong at the moment though, so like she can't really fight Sir Kyle with him. You don't really know where you're going with this, Lloyd. Once he finishes conjuring it, it'll be all over. Ah, yeah, throw the candlestick. <laughs> Spin it. Let it rip. No, smash his head in. Mono blast. I must admit, young man, your technique and manipulation of mana is ingenious. However, you're too young. You're too inexperienced in battle. You lack real-life combat experience. Yes, I knew he was going that way. It's always that. <gasps> well, I'm not done yet. I Did you get hit? Bro. What? Oh, man. I'm counting on you. Yeah, he absorbed the poison. And he absorbed the poison so she can fight. But, like, if... So, can he only absorb the poison? Because if he absorbed all the mana, she's not going to be the best fighter as well, right? If you lose, we're all dead. Oh, you can't leave me there on the cliffhanger, bro. Like, so he's absorbing the poison. It's gonna go. Yeah, this series is just great. This series, at least, probably. I mean, it's definitely 7 out of 10. It's close to 8 out of 10, I believe. Come on, it's good. It's good. But yeah, we catched up with the chapters. So, subscribe if you haven't already. Like. The video so we hit the youtube algorithm most important notifications put all notifications on so you know when i'm streaming join the discord description down below in case you don't get notifications on youtube you'll get them on discord second channel twitch is also in the description don't forget to comment on the videos once it's done that's also that also helps a ton so yeah see you guys next time Bye bye